Now I'm, I'm quickly going to go through um, the double differentiation of an expression so that we can determine the nature of the turning points. In, and we already know um, the turning point of this equation and we know it's a minimum from the graph. But we actually have to prove it. We have to give some proof around it for the calculus assessment. So what we're going to do is we're going to double differentiate this expression. So if we differentiate it, which we've already done once, get 2x minus 6, and then if we double differentiate this thing, which is basically differentiate it again, we just get a constant of positive 2. Okay, so and this will change depending on what we what we get. So with a quadratic, when you double differentiate, you get a constant. And if that constant is positive, then you have a minimum point. And if the constant be, turns out to be negative, then you have a maximum point. Now I'm going to I'm going to help you understand why this is the case, but for now this is what we're going to be talking about. Now I'm going to do a different example. Now we're going to do uh, another example which is 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6. Now this is a cubic and it's a possible it's a positive cubic, so we know that it generally looks like this. That's close enough for the time being, but you can definitely put it into your calculator and you can get the graph of it and you can see what the maximum endpoints are. That's all good. So there's no excuse not to actually know what the maximum endpoints are, but that's neither here nor there because we have to prove the nature of the points. So what we do is we double differentiate this and so that's the differentiated expression. Here's the double differentiated expression you'll see that along like the parabola it's it's not a constant anymore you actually get an expression now all we do is at this point we have to know what these max and min points are and we can find those we find those in the in the method that we used before now i'm not going to go over um, how to find those max and min points again we know that we make the gradient function equal zero, and I'm going to just save some time on this video and tell you that the ma one of the points is zero and negative six, and one of the points is one and negative seven. So to determine the nature of these points, you can look on your graph absolutely, but they don't want you to do it that way. They want you to do calculus. So they want you to double differentiate, or this is one of the ways that you can do it with double differentiation. Take the double differentiated expression and substitute in these x values individually. So we're going to get 12 times 0 minus 6, which is going to give us a negative 6. There's where the double differentiation is negative, and if it's negative, it tells us that we have a maximum point. And then, if we get rid of that and we do it for the 1, so we do just the x values, 12 times 1 minus 6, which is 12 minus 6, which is 6. It's a positive. And if it's positive, then we're dealing with a minimum value. So you make some sort of statement to determine, to, 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 to confirm what you already know from your graphing calculator, but to confirm and prove that the nature of those points are that um, this point, 0 and negative 6, when I stick the 0 in, I get a negative for the double differentiated expression, that tells me it's a maximum point. And when I stick it in for the double differentiated expression here, the 1, I get a positive value and that tells me that this point here is a minimum point. So we've done maximum, minimum, finding the points and then determining their nature.